What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another Monday Ramble. Um, I forget what day it is. Pretty tired. I know it's early August. It was August 6th, maybe, uh, 2024. And um, I got a, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know I had a pretty good weekend. Uh, got to do some fishing and stuff like that. And that's going to bring us into our next ramble. It is going to be called Redemption, I guess. I, did, I couldn't think of anything else. But um, we had a little predicament over the weekend. Um, we were we were fishing. Son's, you know, son's a young guy, four, four years old. So teaching him how to fish and stuff like that. Um, we practice our casting and inside the garage and stuff like that. He chucks it at me or whatever, you know. He's pretty good at aiming and uh, casting his reel already. He's been practicing for... I'd say at least a year, maybe a little bit more. And uh, he loves to do it, but we never really got him out because he didn't understand um, some of the patience that it takes to fish, <laughs> that it's not just running around and throwing the uh, the, the, the casting out um, to, to get the fish, right? You have to get some patience. You cast it out, uh, wait for the bobber to bob, and then, um, you know, pull it in, right? Uh, there's a lot more to it. You gotta, you know, sink your hook, uh, hook in and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot more understanding than some of us realize right off the bat, especially at a young age at four years old. Right. Um, but you know, he caught on pretty quick. Um, we caught a lot, uh, quite a bit of bluegills and he, he got a pretty big fish and he was like reeling it up. He was barely, he was grinding. He was, uh, uh, tugging and pulling and um you know i had to help him i had to grab the, the pull because it was heavy for him and you could see that the, the the rod was bending i was like holy shit he's got a big one and he doesn't have a he didn't have a big line on it he had a pretty uh a weaker line and so we start getting this thing up to the um to the boat and you could see you, i started seeing this thing it was him and i and uh um, his, his older cousin was there too, 17 year old. Um, and he was like, holy cow, it's a big one. I was like, oh my God, it is a big one. And, uh, it wasn't, the resistance wasn't too bad for me because I'm a, an adult, right? And a little bit more fishing experience than he, but for him, <laughs> you know, it's, oh, dude, I can't move it, dad. And then this thing, um, uh, it started bending more and I thought it was going to snatch the pole from his hands. Because I was trying to, my best to try to get that thing in there. It looked like, I don't know, it had to be at least 10, in, 10 plus, plus inches, right? About 10 inches, I'd say. And I thought it was maybe a small northern or a, a, a small a walleye, right? And uh, I, I make the mistake of grabbing the line. And this thing, it dove right as I was doing it. It dove down because they have the tendency of diving down, especially when you get closer to the boat and stuff. Especially, like, if it's a northern. And this thing was fucking massive, I tell you what. And, uh, freaking, um, it snaps, snaps the line. Um, look, I looked at the line. Sometimes when it, it pulls, you know, it pulls it. It looked like it, looked like it was bitten, anyways. Because um, sometimes if it just pulls it, because it it's hooked, and it pulled that out, you could, you could see where, um, you know, where that, uh, the tie-off was because it just pulled that out. But I guess it could have snapped too, but because it wasn't a, a heavy line or anything like that. And he's like, he just starts crying and he goes to his, goes to his mom crying. I'm like, you're all right, boy. You know, I wasn't trying to be mean or anything like that. Like, suck it up, buttercup. It's just like, it's all right, son. It's going to happen. It's going to happen from time to time that sometimes those fish, they come and they go, right? And, uh, because we got out, he was he was real happy to go out because it was he he got up at uh, freaking six. I was up <laughs> way earlier, like three, getting set up, getting uh, making sure lines were tied off and stuff like that, and uh, making sure we had uh, the worms are alive and then uh, the minnows were good too, you know, stuff like that. Make sure um, they were in some pretty good water to um, get on the boat and stuff like that. So, but. Uh, you know, he's was like, it's all right, man. Don't, don't cry. Um, you'll, you'll get it next time, man. You'll get it next time. We, we've lost so many great fish, um, you know, and he just, <laughs> it was just, 
<laughs> his little lips start quivering and stuff like that. It was it almost made me want to cry, but you know, you have to be tough in those situations and be like, hey man, keep your head up. Uh, as long as we're alive, we can keep on fishing, especially when we're already out there, right? And so you get him stop crying, get him goldfish and stuff like that. And he, he was all good, hunky dory, right? Um, we're out there uh, for a couple more hours getting bluegills. His mom was uh, having a heyday with the bluegills. And, uh, you know, we freaking, um, he was getting per he was getting some perch. He was getting baby bluegills and stuff like that. So he was pretty happy about that. Uh, got a rock, uh, a rock bass and a largemouth bass. So, oh man, I, they put up good fights. We don't eat those ones, so we release those. We usually just crappies, bluegills, and uh, uh, if the northern, if they're following a certain... Uh, criteria within our lake so you, you always got to check out your criteria for uh your fishing regulations and stuff like that look it up make sure you know what you can keep and what you have to release but we typically um we release especially if we're not getting you know too much and stuff like that so it's it, i like i'm more of like the sportsman i like i just like to catch and enjoy just being out there if i don't catch nothing i have fun being out there hanging out with people you know Hanging out with people I care for. And, uh, you know, uh, that's what I try to convey to my son as well. Don't worry about those things, you know. It's not about the catch. It's about the time that you spend with others. And so, um, anyways, it's, it's about 11.30 now at this point. And uh, he gave up on his own fishing rod. He had let Grandma use his fishing rod. And she's out there. She's, she caught a couple little little guys too and stuff like that. But, um Frickin', uh, he, he wanted to play with daddy's fishing rod and reel it in and, uh, you know, go through some of the casting motions. So we, uh, he put his hand on there while we we're going through the casting motions of a bigger one and how to use an, uh, a spinner because I use an open bail, the spinner, spinning rods. His is a closed bail. You just hold the button to, you let it go to, uh, cast it out, but you got to open, uh, uh, this one, open the line up, uh, hold on to the line, and then throw it out. Let go of the line instead of um, the button. But, you know, it was great for him because he just wanted to hang out with Dad. And, you know, I'm more than happy to do that with him. And so I, I was showing him, you know, you just want to go and you want to ca uh, cast out and then reel in slow with some of the spinners. So I was like, ah, he doesn't get too much of what the spinners do. So... Uh, I cut that off, and I put on, I just put on a hook, a uh, little walleye hook, uh, you know, the uh, brighter colors, and then we were running low on bait, so end up putting on a little gulp one, and uh, freaking uh, put on a bobber, and then uh, we start casting on about seven seven feet deep and stuff like that. Uh, Fish Brain is the app you would you want to use to log in stuff. You can keep it secret or sh share it public publicly, and it is no way, shape, or form um, a sponsor of the show, but I do love that app and I pay for it because that's, because it, it does like, uh, it gives out like freaking, um, what, what you call it, uh, wind currents and, uh, it has weather on it and it has dip finders. So it has, you know, GPS on your phone and it shows you dips and stuff like that. So I highly recommend it. If you, if you're a newer fisher, fisher person, um, check out that app it's it's free to use but you can also pay for it if it's something that you want to do pay for it it has its own little social media stuff you can buy stuff from its its online store from businesses that uh uh sell on on there right it's not just uh uh cabela's and all that stuff it's like other smaller fisheries kind of sell their gear on there as well so they you know yeah whatever floats your boat but anyways uh, he's reeling in slowly at this point after uh, put the bobber on and stuff like that. And uh, all of a sudden, bam, feel a snag. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> he's like, oh my God, dude. I was like, yeah, dude, I think it's a big one. And then this thing starts fighting and it's pulling a line. And um, I was like, man, I hope this don't break the line. I have a 30 pound line on mine. But, well, I think that kind of saved us in the long run. But, um, we didn't have a leader because usually with those uh some of these uh, bigger fishes the bigger walleyes bigger northerns that they'll bite right through the line if they got uh 
if it's that far into their mouths, right? It'll they'll just bite that line and uh, get right off. But it, it's fighting. We're pulling. We're letting it play a little bit and uh, get it up to the boat. And I'll be darned. It's a pretty big northern, right? Um, uh, we get we get it netted and uh, holy buckets. We had a harder uh, fight with getting the hook out of the net because it was hook, uh, hooked out through his, through his mouth and uh, got tangled in the net. You know, that's probably the biggest fight is getting, getting un, unhooked from the net. But um, regardless, we get it off, uh, get this, uh, get the hook off of it, off of the fish. And uh, we go, it was a, it was a pretty heavy sucker. I'd say it was probably um, a, about 30 pounds, I'd say. But uh, we go to measure it. And it's it's freaking uh, 23 and a half inches, and it's like holy crap, man! We can't keep it because it, anything in between 22 and like 26, then um, you gotta you gotta release them uh, so that they can reproduce and stuff like that, which is awesome. Got got a picture with that. Uh, that thing was damn near, you know, uh, it's like three quarters of my son's height and stuff like that. And, you know, 10 pounds less than him, it seemed like, right? And uh, it was fucking awesome, but he was so happy. It, it was felt like that was redemption, right? He's like, oh my God, we got the fish, dude. I was like, yes, we did, man. And you did all the, you did the real one. And if it wasn't for you, uh, I probably wouldn't have been casting out there. Uh, I probably would have been out there with a spoon still and uh, trying to do uh, play my luck that way. And, uh, you know, he was just happier than uh, uh, a dog eating all the treats in the world, right, for the day. And <laughs> nothing's better than that. And, you know, he, he gave up, he cried, uh, but he, he picked himself back up, uh, who obviously with our help and our support, and he kept going and he didn't give up. He wanted He wanted that big fish and he's like, that's the one that ate my, my, uh, that broke my line down. And it was like, if you think so, son, if you think so. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it was cute. It was cute. He was, he was saying that and he was, you know, eh, all's well, ends well, right? Um, yeah, but anyway, like it was over 26 inches. You can keep two of them, but if they're both, if they're, uh, between 10 and 20, 22 inches, I think you think you can get 10 of them. So, that's the rules over here, which is kind of weird because you would think you want those smaller ones that eventually re reproduce. Um, weird rules, but I'm guessing that in between that 25 or 22 to 26 inches that they're at their uh, optimal maturity to reproduce. But if you get all the young ones, aren't they not going to reproduce? I don't know. I I confused, but I didn't entirely look it all up too. So rules are rules. We let it go. Um, no good eating, uh, eating on our behalf for the northern, but we did get a butt ton of blue uh, bluegills, uh, sunny. Some people call them right, and uh, man, it was tasty. It was it's always tasty when you catch your own food and uh, do some home cooked uh, crackers on that thing. You know, uh, get it fried up and stuff like that. But you know, it was it was also a good learning experience for them, uh, especially at a young age that. Um, because something happens and it doesn't go your way, doesn't mean that you just give up. It may hurt, you may cry, and uh, you may feel defeated, but if you keep going, that um, eventually maybe something else or something better is going to come uh, down the road. You just got to be a little bit patient, and you just got to play your luck. That's life, right? It's, it's all about luck and that... Um, you spend quality time with the people that you care care about and those ones that choose to remain there. And that, you know, I guess <laughs> we had to let it go anyways, but, you know, we got it. It was exciting and uh, couldn't be more proud of him. You know, a uh, little guy, he was, he was pulling in his own little blue gills and stuff like that, taking pictures with him. Um, yeah, so, but anyways, um, I guess that, like I said, that, that ties into that and the, the ultimate message is that, um, sometimes you're going to win some and you're going to lose some, but in the end, um, as long as you don't give up, uh, you'll have more fights and more opportunities that come along down, down the road for yourself and anybody else that, uh, faces these difficulties, right? And that even though it may seem down and gloomy 
and uh, almost impossible that if there's a will, that there's a way, and you'll find it as long as you're willing to make those sacrifices to continue forward and uh, keep on believing in yourself, right? So, but anyways, I hope you guys have, have a great week. Uh, thank you for tuning in for another, another Monday Ramble. And until next time, guys, peace.